Eduardo came to administer justice in early June for some guidance regarding an eviction notice that he'd received. He and his family have been longtime residents of the city of Elgin. They've lived here for at least the past eight years with Eduardo working full-time and his wife working part-time and a young daughter to care for as well. The prospect of having to vacate that property was obviously very scary for the family. Eduardo had some damage to the apartment that he was living in. He had come to us after a period of very heavy rains and a lot of the water had pooled in the attic of their apartment, causing water damage to the ceiling. And the damage was so extensive that eventually there was a portion of the ceiling that caved in. There was standing water in his unit. Some of the water had damaged the furniture in his family's home as well. So he came to us both to find out how to resolve the issues that he'd had regarding the damage, but also for guidance then regarding the eviction notice he received. When Eduardo wasn't receiving any hopeful assistance from the landlord, he was under the belief that it would be okay for him to stop paying rent until the landlord solved the problem. Because he had been withholding the rent, he then received a five-day notice to vacate the apartment. In Eduardo's case, we really wanted to provide him with some stability and certainty. If you've never gone through any kind of legal process before, that can be an intimidating thing to deal with. On top of that, because Eduardo was limited in his ability to speak and understand English, that makes the circumstance all the more daunting. So as a bilingual staff attorney, to be able to provide them with the legal knowledge is really fulfilling and rewarding for me. When I appeared in court on behalf of Eduardo, I was able to speak with the landlord's attorney and negotiate a, a settlement whereby he wouldn't have to pay any of the past due rent as long as he were to vacate the property by a certain date. And I was able to negotiate that the case would be dismissed, the eviction would not appear on Eduardo's record, and he would then be able to secure a, a safer and a more comfortable place then for his family to live. I really appreciate the holistic level of services that Administer Justice offers to clients. So it's really great to be able to incorporate my legal knowledge, my language skills, and my faith into the work that I do. I feel the most fulfilled through my work at Administer Justice by knowing that I'm playing a role in bringing them peace. And he did indicate to me how tremendously grateful he was. He wished for God's blessings upon us, that he really felt like God led him to find our services and to get the assistance that he had needed.